Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to build a very complicated geometry like this. So I'm going to take you through a step-by-step -step process of building this kind of geometry in case you have to make a model of this, a 3D model of this. So we first start, we go start a new session. We go to our model wizard. And in here, we're going to select 3D. Then, yes, go to done. All right. So, now that we are here, we're going to add a cylinder. And in the settings window for a cylinder, we're going to add, make the radius. You're going to define the radius. You're going to define the height and everything step by step. So for the size and the shape, we're going to make the radius. Let's say we choose three meters. Uh, just three meters. Five cups on one. And the height is open five meters. And I want to position it at a particular place within negative x direction of neg minus 17 meters minus 19 meters and let's go to selection of resulting entities and we find the cumulative selections and let's add let's make a new so when you click new, what you're going to do is you're going to type steel. I'm going to choose OK. So now that you're done, you click build selected, and we have this zoom extends, and we have this. Let's add another cylinder. And for the radius, make it 1.5. Meters. The height is going to be twenty meters. Position and it's nineteen meters. The Z field you make is open five meters. So we go back to selections of resulting entities and the contribution as well. We're going to contribute that one. To steal. So we just this one we just choose it from the list and choose steal. Choose a cone. The settings windows for the cone, we have the bottom, we have the height. Yes. 
bottom radius is 1.5 meters, height is 1.6 meters. You have to specify the top size using the list. Choose an angle. Let's make this minus 30 degrees. In the X position, minus 19 meters. In the Z field, I'm going to choose 2.5 meters. I'm going to contribute this one to steel. And we build selected. So at this point, you should have something like this. If you don't have anything like this, if you don't build something like this, then I think you're doing something wrong. We add another cylinder. We look at the size and the shape for the radius. 25 meters in the height field we're looking at 27 meters and position at 19 meters and in the Z field be 4.2 meters. And I want it to be at the Cartesian x axis. X field 1, y field has to be minus 1, z will be 0. And we look for the selection of the resulting entities. So for the cumulative selection, we also contribute this to steel. And we go to build selected. Okay. So we should have something like this. Screws under cylinder. Under the size and shape radius has to be 0 0.3 meters. The height is 19 meters. And under the position section, in the X text field, you type minus 9.5. In the Y position, it's going to be minus 9.75 meters. The Z field is going to be 4.2 meters. Axis should be at the X axis. We always contribute. I'm going to contribute this to steel as well. And we have to build selected as this. So we should have something like this. As you can see. I'm going to add another cylinder. We also know that the radius, we have to input the value, make it 0 0.65 in test.
you know, heights should be let's say 28 meters. And position in the X field, make it minus 20. And your Z field should be one. Okay, so the resultant entities You check that box and showing in physics you want to turn it off. So we are turning it off this visibility outside the geometry sequence since it is not actually needed elsewhere. So let's go on to Add the rotation transforms. So go to transforms and choose rotate. So the input selection is cylinder five. And under the rotation section, I want to specify wireless angles. I want to choose wireless angles. On this alpha should be 60 degrees. And beta should be 30 degrees. And the position of the x axis has to be minus 20 meters. Let's contribute this to steel. Go to those selected. So you should have something like this. Let's go on to add another transforms. Uh, we're gonna make this a mirror. Input is going to be cylinder five. Let's check this. The normal vector to plane of reflection in the y field let's make that one v field is zero and selection of results and entities cumulative has to contribute to steel and build selected like this. So you should have something like this. If you're not having it, something like this, then it's wrong. We go on to add another cylinder. Under the size and shape, radius has to 0.3 meters. Height has to be 10 meters. A position, under the position, the X field is minus 20. The Z field is 10. Selection of resulting entities. We select and we choose select off. Okay. 
let's go on to add and that transforms. I'm gonna add a rotate. It's going to be cylinder six. And we specify or less angles. As usual, we have to specify the alpha, beta, degree, beta as well as 60 degrees. So the point on axis, x is minus 20. Z is 10. So selection of resulting entities going to contribute this to CH2 and build selected. We should have this. Under the geometry, we're going to add transforms. There's this transforms. And yeah, mirror. And we're going to input, choose an input which is cylinder six. We have to keep this input parts checked. The normal vector to plane of reflection. Okay, in the y field, let's choose one. In the z field, has to be zero. Okay, so selection of resulting entities. Contributed to steel. Select build, build selected. Yeah. And let's click on highlights results. So stage, you should have something like this. You have something like this. You go on to add another cylinder. And in the radius, it was 0 0.3. Height has to be 10. In the position, X field has to be minus 12 meters. The Y field has to be minus 5 meters. Z field has to be 16. On the address type, we want to make that our axis. So the resulting resulting object selection has to be checked and turned off and we build the selected. So we have something like this.
the geometry we go to transforms and we're going to add rotate and cylinder 7 so the angle is 0 degrees Two to five degrees. On the point on axis of rotation. This axis was minus 12 inches. Y is minus 5 inches. And C is 16 meters. I want to contribute this to steel. Is still selected, and we have this. So if you're not getting this, then you have to check your work. We we'll go on to add another cylinder. Locate the size and shape, and the radius has to be zero point three. Height is. 16. In the X text field, I'm going to show you has to be minus 9 meters. In the Y field is minus 8. The Z field is 16 meters. Axis type has to be the y axis. Under the selections of resulting entities, we contribute this to steel and build selected. You should have this. If you're not having this, please check. We add another cylinder. And the radius as usual is 0 0.3. Height is 12.5. In the X field, position has to be minus 1.7. The Z field is 4.2. Yes. And on the selection of resulting entities, you should check this box and, and turn this off. We're adding under transforms. We should be rotate input and we select nine cylinder nine and we're using the OLS alpha degree is thirty degrees beta is minus thirty. So the point on axis of rotation is minus 9.75 inches. And on the Y field, it's minus 9. 
Z third is four. So the resulting entities should be contributed to steel. Go selected. Okay, so I think I'm just double check again. So we double check. Let's double check from cylinder two, cylinder nine itself. The radius has to be zero point three, is in twelve position has to be. Minus K. X is at minus 9.5. Y field is at, okay, we missed the Y field. Supposed to add, make the Y field minus 9.5. And Z field has to be four. So that's in here, the rotation of nine should give us, let me see. Okay. This mirror should be kept. No, not kept. Okay. Yeah, it should be this way. So this, under the mirror, you have to keep input objects because I mirrored it and I didn't keep it. That's why this wasn't there. So previously it was like this. And I realized there's supposed to be one of this here. So just came back to double check. I understand sometimes you might forget or omit some few things. So that's why I always go back to, to check. Okay. So where are we currently? We are here. We're done with this, and we're going to add the mirror transforms, and we add in the mirror and the input selection cylinder nine. So you don't want to add the mirror. You have to always keep the input objects, or else it's going to disappear afterwards after we mirror it. So the normal vector to plane of reflection on the X field is minus one. Under the Y field is one. Under the Z field is zero. Like this. You have to also contribute this to steel and build selected. Okay, that's good. In progress. So we have to now create a union for the objects we've done so far. We go to geometry. Now, you're going to use a new feature here, which is the booleans and partitions. 
and we're choosing a union. We choose steel. We uncheck this. And we are going to add our usual rotation. And we are going to choose steel. Okay, so we're choosing steel in the angle we're going to choose a range of 90 degrees 90 degrees Nineteen degrees. Three sixty degrees. Let's build selected. So we have something like this. So if you're not getting something like this, please, please check. What we've done so far. Okay. Because what we've done to this point, you should get this. If you're not seeing this, can you check? Okay, so we're going to add another Boolean and partition union. And choose two. And check this. And geometry. Add the cylinder. And for the size and shape radius will be 0 0.8 meters. The height is 70 meters. The position has to be defined as minus 7.3 meters. That's for the X field, for the Y field is 7.3. Meters. The Z field is twenty two meters. Okay. So for the cumulative section, I'm gonna right, I'm gonna choose new. And that will be the top structure. Top structure. Okay. You are selected. So you should have this. You choose another cylinder. Radius zero point five meters. Height as well fourteen meters. The X field has to be minus seven point three. And seven point three. The Z field has to be. Y field is minus seven meters. 
the Z field is twenty eight inches. the y axis and under the selection of resulting entities we're going to check this and turn it off i'm going to add some arrays transforms and arrays input section is going to be standard 11 and under the z so we're gonna yeah the size should be five And under the displacement, you want to make it 15 meters. And we're contributing this to the top structure. Okay, so you should have this. We add another cylinder. Radius of 0 0.3 meters. Height of 9 meters. The position around minus 7.3 meters. The Y field of about 7 meters. No, a meter. Yeah. And in a Z field of about Z direction of about 28 meters. And the Cartesian X field of X1, Y1, Z0. We select the results in and we turn this off. We add another transforms, which we'll call the move input of so we're gonna use cylinder 12. So under the displacements, you see direction is zero. And thirty. Zero and thirty, and uh, I think we'll contribute this to the top structure too, as well. We do the selected. Mm. No, no. 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 Okay. The cylinder twelve. Let me go back. Let's go back and look at how we built cylinder twelve. One one zero. Okay, let's look at it again. It has a radius 
of 0 0.3, height of 9, in the x field of minus 7.3, in the y field of 1, and also it has the z direction of 28. Choose this Cartesian. We went to move it. So we're moving it. Okay, so we're moving it under displacement of zero meters and 13 meters. And see. So this rather we change it to the PC field instead. Zero and thirty. Zero and thirty. So it goes selected. Okay, so we should have this. Okay, so I want us to get to this point. So we'll continue in the next video, the continuation of building a very complicated geometry like this. So I'll continue this part in the next video. So please stay tuned and watch it. Okay. If you have any questions to please kindly let me know and I'll do well to respond to that. Thank you. See you in the next video.